Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Wednesday, January the 4th of 2017, and I can't sleep. <laughs> Notice that the clock says 1.27 a.m. You see, something pretty exciting is happening tomorrow, um, or, or today, I guess I should say, around three this afternoon. I don't want to get into details of what's happening in case something goes awry, but um, if it does all go well, I will let you guys know, but hopefully something good will come of this. But because of that, I'm a little bit nervous, so I can't really get to sleep right now. So I decided to um, just tinker with this um, laptop while I try to get sleepy. Like this is actually going to help me get sleepy. <laughs> but um, this is a um, laptop that I showed back in the summer of 2015 when I first got it. This is the Compaq Armada 1575DMT. Even though the um, lid says it's a 1590DMT. Not sure how that happened. I blame society. So, um, as you know, I am, um, I speak very, 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 very highly of this laptop, um, for many reasons. One, try spindle, meaning that you get a hard drive, a floppy drive, and a CD-ROM drive all in one laptop. You see, this was kind of uncommon in the mid to late 90s with laptops. Um, usually you would only get the hard drive and your choice of either the um, floppy drive or CD-ROM drive and, could, and you could only use them one at a time. If you, if you wanted to use a CD-ROM and you had the floppy drive in it, you would have to remove the floppy drive and stick the CD-ROM drive in it. But with a laptop like this, you do not have to worry about that. Second of all, it um, it has a um, 800 by 600 um, active matrix display, giving you a good crisp picture for your old games. And speaking of old games, it also has excellent DOS support. So. Most of your um, DOS games that you enjoy, that you throw at this, it will play. And also, um, one thing I've done to it since um, you last saw it back in the summer of 2015 is, well, um, you see batteries for these are hard to come by, and the battery that came with this would not take a charge at all, no matter what I would do. Took it to my local Batteries Plus, and they looked at me like I was a complete idiot when I asked them to rebuild it. So, um, it took me a long time to be able to source a um, functional battery for it, but I did. And um, there it is right there. And, and I can get about mm, 45 minutes out of it, I suppose. I get a a game of Fatty Bear and a DOS game or two and on a full charge um, except right now the battery is flat dead so I'm having to charge it <laughs> so um, without further ado let's go ahead and fire it up I also gave it a brand new spanking CMOS battery got 16 megabytes of memory CPU in it is a um, Intel Pentium MMX. I believe it's 150 megahertz. Perfect for what I use it for. And this is something else I've done with it. Let me stretch the display there first, okay. I've actually dual booted it with both Windows 95 and Windows 3.11. More on that later. First, let's check out the um, BIOS. Just like with other um, compacts of the time, um, the BIOS is not on an actual BIOS chip. 
it's actually on a um, it's actually on the hard drive. Compaq and IBM loved to do that back in the day. So we'll take a look at what's going on in here. That's the reboot, of course. Uh, I really need to be in bed right now. I, technically, I am, but I need to be in bed and asleep. Way past my bedtime. This will get us a closer look at the specs. You notice the um, BIOS is actually um, graphical and looks very um, Windows 3.1-esque. Anyway, um, it's a Compaq Armada 1575 with an Intel Pentium MMX processor running at 150 megahertz. BIOS date, August the 11th, 1997. Speaking of that, it's hard to believe that now that we're in the year 2017, 1997 was 20 years ago think about that. Heck, even worse. The year 2002 was 15 years ago. I am old. So yeah, there's really nothing much to see there, so let's just reboot. I guess first of all, we'll take a quick look at Windows 95. There is one dead pixel right there. It's but that is all. Doesn't really bother me at all. All right, focus you. There we go. All right, we'll start off with Windows 95. Um, I got a four gigabyte hard drive in here. Each OS is divided up by two gigabyte partitions. Windows 95 with Microsoft Plus. Is it loading the PC card? I got a um, CF card and a PCMCIA adapter, which gives me a little bit of extra storage so I can store old games on it for when I take this out on the road with me. Usually I um, use this in the um, waiting room where my um, where I'm getting my hair cut. So it comes in handy there. So we'll turn up the um, volume a little bit, I guess. Got pretty good speakers on here too, by the way. I have to say it's very um, strange to see the date 2017 on um, Windows 95. Windows 95 is going to be 22 years old this oct this um, August. So yeah, I got a typical array of programs on here um, for Windows 95. Got your Tuneland, Best of Entertainment, M Mist, Kid Picks, the Packard Bell Kid Story Games, My First Encyclopedia, also from the Packard Bell, a couple of Maxis things, Microsoft Bob. Monster Truck Madness, um, Magic School Bus Human Body, Encarta 96, Works 4.0, the Gus games, um, some Sierra stuff, Sonic CD, and Office um, 95. We'll load up Word um, 95. Go away. The um, keyboard on here, um, nothing special. Um, it, not the best feeling keyboard in the world, but it works. Um, one problem I do have with it is the space bar is a little bit collapsed. Um, it only registers if you hit it dead on in the middle. So yeah. 
might get a new keyboard for it at some point just to get a working, a more reliable uh, space bar. And you can see all the partitions I have on here, um, Windows 95, the partition for OS Selector, the DOS partition for Windows 3.1, and this is the um, CF card where I have um, random files and um, games on it. And I have shortcuts to these games here on the desktop. We can um, fire up my favorite um, middle of the night computer game. First of all, we'll we'll um, bring it back down to 640 by 480. It looks a little bit squished, but that's okay for what we're about to run. You guys sick of this game yet? <laughs> This is another nice thing about this laptop. It has panel stretching. <coughs> Excuse me. Good night, Kayla. Good night, Dad. Tomorrow's my birthday. And Mom and Dad did have a big surprise for me. Good night, Fatty Bear. She needs to fix her hair right there. That's always bothered me. Skip through all this. Whoa, I'm going to shut the camera off. So you can see it plays absolutely beautifully. Now let's go fire up this um, never obsolete e machine with its best tech power supply. favorite song from the game. Oh, by the way, this laptop is um, year 2000 compatible. Just thought you might need to know that. Alright, that pretty much shows um, proof that it plays that game. Uh, Alright. Now to show you one, th one of the coolest things about this laptop. It um, has a little special program on here called Real Mode MS-DOS. Basically this um, this reboots the computer into a specialized um, MS-DOS mode with um, drivers for um, the CD-ROM, sound, mouse, all the necessities with plenty of DOS memory and pretty much allows you to run just about anything DOS based. I have a shortcut to it here right on the desktop. Tilt to boot back into 95. Alright. Now we're going into Compact's Real Mode DOS. This isn't the um, only um, Compact laptop from this time that had this feature. Others had it as well. Alright, we'll switch over to my um, DOS game directory. It's hard to type with one hand. First, we'll see what we um, have to choose from. Actually, first, let me show you the um, how much memory we got. Five ninety-seven k, not bad at all. Pretty much anything will run with that amount of memory. 
Uh, you know, since I didn't show it this past Christmas, I've seen it many times on this channel, and it's not Skyroad's Christmas special like I was typing in. Oops. Right, folks, Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair 1995. Just um, turn the sound down a little, little bit more. And I am gonna fail in so many ways playing this with one hand. You guys ready for my um, first embarrassment of the year? First, we better turn a cheat on just to so we can have a chance to get through this with only one hand. Okay, I might be able to do this. This is very awkward. This is how I'm having to <laughs> play it. You can see how the keyboard's spacebar's a little bit messed up. Left arrow key is messed up a little bit too, so yeah, I think this could stand to have a new um, keyboard installed at it at some point, but not anytime soon. It's really not a priority at the moment for me. Yeah, this is one 90s laptop I am not getting rid of, ever. In fact, this is probably the best vintage laptop I've ever um, actually owned. Uh, see, I told you this is awkward to play like this. So enough of that. Let's take a look and see what Windows 3.1 is like on here. Now, the specs of this system, especially with it being an MMX processor, is way overkill for Windows 3.1, but it works just fine, so... I really should have typed exits so it would go back into Windows 95 the next time I boot into Windows 95, but I'll worry about that at a later time. Booting into MS DOS 6.22. All right. Um, oddly enough, you don't get as much DOS memory in actual DOS than you do in Windows 95's real mode. So, ironically, DOS gaming is better on Windows 95 than it is in actual DOS. <laughs> And this has every single driver, except for the um, PCMCIA slot, but I really don't need that in Windows 3.1. Uh, I don't think I've installed the best of inter Oh, I do have it installed. Tetchwish. I love me some Tetchwish. I sound like John F. Kennedy just then. <laughs> Where's my chowder?
They told me this press conference would have chowder. So where's the chowder? And that's that. <laughs> And yes, I am using plugin for Windows. And I even have um, Arc Workspace on here. This was a part of Packard Bell Navigator, but this is the um, standalone version for non Packard Bell computers. Only works in Windows 3.1, though. You can forget about running it in 95, which is kind of a shame. Because Navigator worked in 95, I don't know why this wouldn't. Now the 3D view does look a little bit different from what you see on Packard Bell, but... It is still pretty cool. It uses the same code and everything. Battery's dying, so I better um, start wrapping this video up. I've always loved the Windows 3.1 paintbrush. I am too easily amused. And, you know, um, believe it or not, Windows 3.1 is going to be 25 years old this um, April, so ha happy um, 25th birthday, Windows 3.1. And. I guess that's all there is to show in this video. I better make an, at least make an attempt to get some rest. This is Billy Core signing off. Happy New Year.